Can SCP-173 snap the necks of things way too small for it, like bugs or small animals? Imagine SCP-173's ultimate weakness is just a bunch of cats using it as a roost. If you trapped SCP-096 in perpetual freefall in between two portals like in the game Portal, but they're too wide for him to reach across, do you think he could ever escape after someone's looked at his face? I mean, yeah, he teleports across dimensions and stuff, but you can't just break the laws of physics. If SCP-507 fell asleep reading SCP-1230 A Hero Is Born and gets transported into the book, would that stop him from randomly dimension hopping or would he forcibly dimension hop out of his own dream? And this commenter wants to know, if SCP-106 met up with his living family, would he be chill with them or would he still just absolutely hate all of humanity?